Okay, so in this question, we're asked to enlarge shape A by scale factor minus 2 with the centre enlargement 2, 5. So normally, we'd first of all put the, um, the uh, centre enlargement on, but it's already done for us. So what I need to do now is draw my ray lines, but because it's negative, we know they're going to go through the centre enlargement. So I'm going to draw my ray line. Uh, I don't need to do the bottom right one because it will essentially be the same thing. And let's do this one. Let's try and get it as perfect as we can. So it should be something like that. Okay, now, next thing to do is count how many squares we went away. Uh, so I'm going to start with the bottom left point. So we've got one, two, three, four to get to the center of enlargement. So if it's minus two, we're going to go another four twice. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we end up here. Okay. For the next one, um, let's do the bottom right one. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just right on the edge there. Okay, let's do the last one. So this this time I'm going to count the diagonals, and if you had a ruler, you could just measure it out. So one, two, three, four diagonals. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now we need to connect them all up. So let's connect them all up. And probably it will say label it B, yeah. So label it B. And always check the width of A was two and the width of B is four, so that's good. The height of it is four and so the height of B should be eight, which it is. And it looks unusual because for an enlargement you're used to it being the same way around, but for negative enlargement it basically just flips it. 